organizing the markup and for the recognition. Uh, I urge all my colleagues to support H.R. 4704, the Advancing Research to Prevent Suicide Act. Uh, I'm proud to join my friend, Congressman McAdams, in introducing this legislation, and I thank him for his leadership to reduce suicide rates. The bill directs the NSF to support multidisciplinary research on the root causes of suicide across the United States. Suicide rates are continuing to rise across all demographics, and my home state of Ohio has some particularly concerning statistics. Across all ages, the suicide rate in Ohio increased nearly 24 percent. And according to a report by the Ohio Alliance for Innovation in Population Health, we have seen suicide rates among children, 14 and under, increase by 80 percent since 2008. Nationally, the veteran suicide rate stands at 1.5 times the rate for non-veteran adults, with 6,139 veterans dying from suicide in 2017 alone. We all know we have a mental health crisis in this country. But for me and for my constituents, the suicide problem is a personal one, impacting far too many close to home. Too many times I have met with a group of constituents to discuss a trade or veteran-related policy issue, but the biggest problem on their mind has been the growing suicide threat. This has resonated with me in, in, a, in a variety of ways. Um, as many on the committee know, I, I was a professional football player at one point in my life. And uh, in the last calendar year alone, I've had three different former teammates uh, take their own life. Uh, this really resonated with me again uh, when I was talking to someone at the Ohio Farm Bureau, and she explained that finding a way to help prevent farmer suicides had become a major initiative of the organization. Just this past Monday, during Veterans Day, we spent an hour and a half in a meeting talking about the terrible impact of suicides in our veteran community. The topic was not supposed to be specifically veteran suicides, uh, but when we got into the issues with our veteran group, that became all that everybody wanted to talk about. So it is truly hitting every single sector of, of our society. And last year, a high school near my district suffered what, C what CDC calls a suicide contagion, when six students killed themselves within a six-month frame. That is why we need to address this issue. That is why I have introduced this bill alongside Congressman McAdams. The Advancing Research to Prevent Suicide Act will work to address suicide from all angles. The research done under this bill will look at social and economic factors, the use of technology, and the stigma associated with mental health conditions. I sincerely believe that if we want to make a dent on the issue at hand, we can't get by flinging spaghetti at the wall to see what sticks. Our children, our veterans, and our neighbors can't wait that long. It is imperative that we dig in and put in the work to find the roots of this crisis. The more we know about the fundamental causes, the better equipped we will be as a country to tackle the problem head on. Thank you again to Congressman McAdams, Chairwoman Johnson, and Ranking Member Lucas for bringing this bill forward. I'm encouraged by the bipartisanship already shown on this initiative, and I look forward to working with my colleagues to see this bill signed into law. I encourage all my colleagues to support this bill, and I yield back. Thank you very much.